Hi, I'm Mike, Poke Tips Mike, and today, my friends, we're gonna be looking at something really special. So I've done a lot of videos on my channel exploring my old Pokemon save files. We've taken a look at Game Boy games, DS games, and soon we'll be moving on to the later generations. But I've never looked at one of my Pokemon Wii game save files before. So over the past few weeks, I found my old Wii, I bought this special little adapter online so I could hook up my Wii to my computer and actually record good quality footage, and today, we're going to be taking a look at this old system and exploring my My Pokemon Ranch save file. Now, I know a lot of you guys, especially the newer Pokemon fans right now, are probably wondering, what in the world is My Pokemon Ranch? Because this is one of those Pokemon games that you don't really hear about too much anymore. My Pokemon Ranch was an old WiiWare game. Instead of going out to the store and buying it, it was on the Wii eShop. Now, this old game wasn't your traditional Pokemon game. It was more of a Pokemon storage service, like Pokemon Bank or Pokemon Home today. There were mini games, a banger soundtrack, cute ways to play and interact with your Pokemon, and even in-game trades. Like if you deposited 1,000 Pokemon, you'd be able to trade and get a Mew, which I'm pretty sure I still have somewhere in one of my old save files to this day. Now this is one of those Pokemon games that I honestly have not touched for years because one of the problems with it is it never really got updated. When this game came out in North America on June 9th, 2008, it supported Pokemon Diamond and Pearl because those were the newest Pokemon. Pokemon games at the time. There was an update that supported Pokemon Platinum version, however, it only came out in Japan. The rest of the world never got it. And by the time that Heart Gold and Soul Silver came out on the DS, this was completely forgotten and abandoned. So because I have not been on this game in years, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun checking it out. So without further ado, let's me get my Wii remotes, and I actually had to run out and get batteries for this thing too. This video was so wild to set up, because like, who uses batteries anymore? So my friends, if you're excited to see what's in store in this save file, give this video a thumbs up, and let's jump right in to Pokemon Ranch. This is actually crazy. I have not touched this game in so many years. I have no idea what's in store here. I hope there's something good in this ranch, because I know I like to keep my best Pokemon in the actual cartridge, but I feel like there's got to be something good in here. All right, the date is correct. The time is a little bit off, though. I'm impressed how the Wii, I haven't touched this Wii in years. It remembers the date. And Michael Ranch. Oh. And there's Haley. Long time no see. I haven't seen you for eight years. <laughs> oh, it has been a little while, hasn't it? Eight years. The Pokemon missed you so much. Well, now I feel like a really bad Poke parent. She brought a Pokemon again. Yeah, that's right. I think she brought her own Pokemon to the ranch. I know she'd eventually like trade some of them to you too. Okay, ooh, Swablu. Now the graphics in this game are so interesting. I'm not even sure what they're actually called, but this is the first game that had this style of Pokemon graphics that they later used in the Pokemon Rumble series. I know some people, they really don't like it. I'm kind of a fan of it though. And she would love to see my Pokedex and connect my Nintendo DS to it. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I want to see what I actually have in the ranch right now. Oh, it's saving. Uh, here's something that used to work with the old Wi-Fi connection that's been shut down for a while, and wow, I have a lot of Pokemon in this ranch! Okay, I see a few legendaries. How do I move around? I'm sorry, guys. I don't remember how to play this game. Shiny Palkia and Shiny Giratina. I had those shiny legendaries in there for eight years? Yeah, I'm a terrible Pokemon parent. How do I move around here efficiently? Oh, there's little Magikarp. Let's go say hi to Magikarp. Oh, that's so cute. There's gotta be a way to zoom in. Nope, that's the picture button. Oh, there's a horn. I can make him look at me? What is this button? Oh, that's how we zoom in with the plus. <laughs> look at Magikarp flop around. This is fantastic. This is like camping in a Pokemon Sword and Shield, but to the extreme. That looks like a shiny Salamence over here. What's up with all the shiny Pokemon in the ranch? Look at that little guy. So cute. Well, let's go meet my me. So this is me right here, Michael. Nowadays, I'm Mike Poketips Mike, but back then, I was just Michael. And wow, I guess I attract a lot of legendary Pokemon over here. And Electivire. Oh my gosh, these are like all my favorites from back in the day. I used to love Electivire. I still do. Infernape was my favorite Sinnoh starter. Garchomp. Everybody loves Garchomp. Darkrai was an amazing legendary Ho-Oh. Ah, oh, all these Pokemon. Such nostalgia. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let me see if I could find the other one, though. 
There we go. So I had two Miis. This one over here is Racer Mike. Oh, a little Pokemon battle going on over there. So yeah, that was my me for Mario Kart, because I wanted to be cool and have Racer in my name when I was playing those online races in Mario Kart Wii. I was pretty good at that game back in the day. HM Slave. Oh my goodness, what is that? Oh, Starly. Starly the HM Slave. Probably knew Fly, and I know Defog was an HM back in Gen 4, too. And it looks like that's my me over there inside of a box. That looks a little painful. Oh my gosh, is Darkrai shooting shadows at me? Ooh, that's a little painful. And Shiny Arceus over here. Okay, yeah, definitely some of these Pokemon are not legit. I don't even think you could get a Shiny Arceus back in Generation 4. Let's see what's inside of this toy box over here, though. I remember there's a way to just, like, pick these things up and open them. Wait, can I throw it? A training bag. What do I do with this? Oh, I guess Rayquaza attacks it. Let's drop it on his head. Come on. Come here, Rayquaza. Come here. Come here. Boom. Wow, all these Pokemon are gathering around the training bag. They're ready to fight. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think we have a squad of Palkias over here. How many Palkias is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm, I'm lost count. There's a lot of them in here. Your boy spent a lot of time on the GTS trading for legendaries. Something kind of annoying here is I wish we could just see more information about the Pokemon. So all I know about this Zapdos is it's level 52. I don't know what moves it knows, where it came from, uh, where it's going either, I guess. Well, you're going over this way now, Zapdos, but I don't know anything about this thing. I wish I could see its stats or its nature or just anything that tells me about this Pokemon. Oh, Shiny Celebi looks beautiful in this game. Definitely an action replay Pokemon. You couldn't get Shiny Celebi at all back in these games, but it looks beautiful nonetheless. I was worried at first that there wasn't going to be anything good in here. Little did I know that me eight years ago set this up to be an amazing adventure. Let's see what else we have over here. I think I saw a Waylord over there. Goodness gracious, look at all these Pokemon. Waylord actually looks really, really small in this game. They were not accurate with the sizing at all. And wait a second, can I pick up Pokemon too? Yes, I can! I could drag the Waylord around and <laughs> we got all the Pokemon on the ground looking at him. Slowking is amazed that I'm carrying around the Waylord. Look at him spinning his head watching this. Oh my god, why did I stop playing this game? This is so much fun. I've also got Miis for my parents in here because, you know, the first thing everybody did when they got the Wii was make themselves and their whole entire family as Miis. And wait a second, we have eggs in the ranch too. Oh, that's terrible. We have five eggs here that I've just had in Ranch forever, and they never got the chance to hatch because you can't hatch eggs in Pokemon Ranch. They actually have to hatch in your game. Oh, that's so sad. All right, that's enough looking around at the Pokemon. Let's see what some of this stuff over here does. This is the photo album. So let's see, what pictures did I take? Oh, that's cool. They can make the formation of Pokemon. It looks like we have a bunch of po Oh, that's not what I meant to do. It looks like a bunch of the Pokemon- Ugh, I'm, I'm terrible at this. Should totally be able to zoom into this picture and look at it a little bit better. But it looks like a bunch of the Pokemon from my ranch got together in the shape of an Arceus back in 2008. Let's see, it looks like there was a tornado. Oh yeah, there's like little weather conditions that could happen in the ranch too. And you could see Haley in the middle, she got thrown up in the tornado. I guess she's doing okay though, since she was there to greet me in the beginning of this. Another tornado. Oh, a little Pokemon circle. Sneasel, so cute. Aww. A Pokemon totem pole. Oh, look at that picture of the shiny Lugia right there. I took some amazing photos of these Pokemon. Oh, Loudred, back in 2010. I guess I played this game back in 2011, too. Yeah, that would make sense since it's been about eight years since I've played. Eh, these photos kind of suck. And there's the one I accidentally took in the beginning. Wow, that's a big time jump. 2011 to 2020. Now, let's see deposit details. So, I guess with this, we could see what games the Pokemon here came from. So the top two trainers here are Michael and Michael, which must be my Pokemon Diamond and my Pokemon Pearl version. And there, that's 724 Pokemon that I deposited into this ranch. That's insane. Haley brought 85 of her own Pokemon. Oh! And I guess my sister and my old friend brought some of their Pokemon to the ranch too, and whoever that W person was. The one annoying thing about Pokemon Ranch though was you couldn't take Pokemon out of the ranch that weren't originally from your save file. So I guess that means that W person, their Pokemon are stuck here forever. Because I have no idea who that is. Oh, this is goofy. So if I zoom all the way out, you see all those Pokemon moving, right? If I honk the horn, 
everything in the whole entire ranch just stops. I remember every now and then in this game, Pokemon would get together and do a bunch of, like, goofy stuff, but now I think it might be nap time? The music changed and it sounds all relaxed and a bunch of Pokemon have their heads down, and aw, look at the sleeping Mew! It's so cute, it's hard to get a good angle of it right now, but it is adorable! I probably could honk the little horn at it and wake it up, but I'm not gonna be mean. Rest peacefully, sleeping Mew, rest peacefully. Oh yeah, it's definitely Poke nap time right now. Look at all this sleeping Dialga. Wow, I have a lot of Dialga in here. All right, we're gonna be mean and try waking these things up. Oh, the horn doesn't wake them up. Okay, I don't feel so bad anymore. Weasel's like, why are you making all this noise? They're trying to sleep. Oh, but wait a second. What's this over here? Snorlax! Did I name him Big Boy? Oh, I named it Big Belly. That is kind of true. Big Belly. All right, what if I lift up a sleeping Pokemon? Wait, can I? Yes, I can. Let's put him over here. No. He's just sleeping right through that. Okay. Is that just a Snorlax only thing or did other Pokemon wake up? Yeah, that one woke up. Oh, he's angry. I feel so bad now. Sorry, Meganium. I won't do it again. Wait, what's about to happen here? Oh. Oh, okay. That's a little creepy. All the Pokemon are just staring at me. It's cute, but creepy at the same time. I don't know whether to find this adorable or just to be freaked out. Just out of nowhere, everything decides to just stare at you and make you so uncomfortable. Alrighty then. Alright, we've got another little thing going on here. I think they're making the shape of a Pokemon again. What are they making? I can't tell yet. Oh, it's a Garchomp! Magikarp is enjoying riding on Gyarados. That's really cute. This game is cute. This game is cute. I'll definitely give it that. So, my friends, that is the one, the only, the Pokemon Ranch. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty cute game. I like seeing all the Pokemon running around this giant area, interacting with each other, and seeing all the craziness that happens. I remember I would leave this game on my TV while I ate dinner and just watch all the crazy stuff that the Pokemon got up to. But other than that, there wasn't really that much to this game. It's cute to check out for like 10-15 minutes, but other than that, you kind of go through everything there is to go through pretty quickly. It's a shame they never updated it though, because I feel like with some updates, this could have been a great game. I still think today this whole ranch idea is pretty cool and a lot better than just seeing your Pokemon on little menu icons in Pokemon Home. So my friends, down in the comments section, let me know if you've actually ever played this game. I never met anybody in real life that had this game, so I'm guessing that's why it never really got updated. It wasn't really that popular. And as for my squad of ranch Pokemon, I think I'm going to leave them in there for the next time that I want to check out this game. Who knows, maybe it'll be in another eight years. And I'll surprise myself all over again. So my friends, as always, thanks so much for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see more of my Pokemon content. If you want to watch me explore more of my old Pokemon save files, I'll have a link right down there in the description for you to check out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.